you can use ChatGPT for everything SEO, for all of your SEO ideas, scripts, and improvements, also keyword research. Combine that with Midjourney's AI for thumbnail creation, and you have the recipe for a perfect plan. It's fascinating. And today, I'm going to show you how to do exactly just that. Let's get right to it. So we're gonna do our keyword research, make creative headings, create descriptions, then the fun part, creating the thumbnail with amazing AI text to image technology using Midjourney. The first thing we'll do is ask ChatGPT to give me 10 keyword ideas related to AI technology. All right, so now we're in ChatGPT and at the bottom I typed in, give me 10 keyword ideas related to AI. I'll hit send and let's see what it can come up with right away. I gotta tell you already, this is much faster than my prior times using this. Neural networks, cognitive computing, okay. Let's ask it to generate a few more. Next question at the bottom, give me 10 keyword ideas related to AI and SEO. Okay, now we're on to something. Content optimization, keyword research, SERP analysis, getting closer. Let's go, give me five more and then we'll make our selection. I think we're gonna go with number nine or 10. Let's go ahead and go with AI powered content creation. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use that as our main focal point for our keyword today. The next thing we'll do is let's plug that data in to an SEO tool like SEMrush. See if we can come up with some more details and research and maybe even optimize our keyword a little bit further. Okay, so now we're over here in SEMrush. I'm gonna take that same keyword that I copied and I'll paste it into the keyword overview in SEMrush and I'll hit search and it's gonna generate that, okay? So you can see it has a low search volume, 10, and there's really not much data on it. So let's change it up and make it more broad. AI for content creation. Now this is a great example why you don't wanna depend solely on ChatGPT for your keyword research. It gives you great ideas and topics to serve as a starting point, but you wanna make sure you have the best data you can for your SEO. So you're gonna use ChatGPT, but use it with a combination of SEO tools. In this case, I'm using SEMrush. Let's go back to SEMrush and see what it came up with and see if we can optimize these SEO keywords a little bit better. So I changed my keyword a little bit and I chose AI for content creation. Now, that's gonna be much better because we have now a search volume of 70. The keyword difficulty is 47, so it's still possible. In this case, we're gonna go to Keyword Magic Tool. Now that we're in Keyword Magic Tool, we can see here's our number one, AI for content creation. Now I'll change it up a little bit more and I'll put AI for creating content. Okay, I couldn't find anything there. Now to get even more details, I came back to Keyword Overview and I listed six other ideas that are somewhat relevant to the keyword we're focusing on. So we have AI content creation and I add a chat GPT for a few more. So check this out. Right away, chat GPT has an incredible high search volume of a million, but the KD is 61. That's gonna be considered difficult for you to rank for. So we don't wanna use that. So even though the search volume is, is, is incredibly high, we would prefer not to use that because it's gonna be difficult to rank for. So as we go down, we can see we have AI SEO, AI content creation, and chat GPT SEO. So let's just stick to AI content creation. Okay, so another awesome thing that we can do in addition to SEMrush is use a website called Answer the Public. So in this case, I just typed in AI content, okay? And as I scroll down, you could see it can come up with 68 out of 68 questions that I can get related to my keyword, okay? That's another tool that you can use as a complement to it. Now, another tool I use is gonna be called Keywords Everywhere. Now that's gonna be a Chrome extension that you could download and you could have it within your Chrome browser. And anytime you search for a keyword in Google, it's gonna give you the data instantly. You can see I have the Chrome extension up here already installed. So if I just go to Google and I type that same thing in, AI content creation, if I hit enter, look what this does. Up here in the search bar, it's gonna tell me the volume is 260 a month, cost per click, $1.54. So it looks like AI content creation might be the way to go. This is gonna be through keywords everywhere. And on the right hand side, Keywords Everywhere has a slew of extra data and ideas you can use. For AI content creation, I have related keywords, people also search for, and long tail keywords. This is amazing to have, and I highly recommend you have this installed on Chrome. So as you can see, you don't have to get the data specifically from ChatGPT. Once you have it, you can use SEMrush. You can use tools like Answer to Public. And one of my other favorites, Keywords Everywhere, will give you all of the data and ideas right there within your Chrome and your Google browser. So I highly recommend you use 
any sort of combination of these tools to add as a complement. So let's go back to what I was showing you. People also search for, and then we have long tail keywords. So I think our best bet would just simply be sticking with AI content creation. It's gonna have lower search volume, the difficulty might not be as bad, or you can even choose a different variant. AI for content creation. Let's go ahead and just stick with this for now. Okay, because we're going to have lower search volume, but the KD is 47%, which is possible. Might be more hard to do, but let's just stick with that. And now I'm going to plug that back in and see what Keywords Everywhere says. AI for content creation says 90 searches per month, whereas SEMrush said 70. There's a specific tool you can use if you're going to be doing a YouTube video. In this case, I use a tool called vidIQ. Now with vidIQ, I'll show you here in a second, you can use that to see the top performing videos related to the keywords you're choosing. We're back over here and we're in vidIQ. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that keyword that we're gonna be working on. Check this out. So now in vidIQ, if we're gonna be doing a YouTube video, the numbers get much, much better and way better in our favor. The search volume will be 6,254 and the competition is considered low with a score of 37.95. That tells me if we're gonna be shooting or doing or creating a video with the keyword AI for content creation, I think we have our choice because we can use this keyword to rank in YouTube, hopefully, and then down the road, we can also use that same keyword to hopefully rank organically in Google in the form of a blog post or a page on our website. And so we're double dipping here. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll make a video and then we'll make a blog post and try to rank both ways. And as I scroll down, it will show me at the bottom the top trending videos for AI for content creation, okay? So we have these are, according to vidIQ, the top trending videos. So I'm looking at these videos and, I'm, and this is telling me a lot of things. I can look at their titles, get good ideas and make something maybe similar or hopefully better. In addition, I can look at their thumbnails. Are they catchy? Do they stand out and stick out? Yes. So I know that when I'm gonna make my thumbnail later on using Midjourney AI, I need to focus on creativity and make my thumbnail stick out for my video. When you have all of these tools combined, you're gonna make your life way easier and simpler to hopefully rank for those keywords you're looking for. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and keep taking this a step further. So now that I'm back in ChatGPT, I typed in the next thing we're gonna do. I asked it, create a blog post title using this keyword. AI for content creation. I'll hit the send button and then see what it can come up with. Not a bad idea. Revolutionizing content creation with AI. How AI is reshaping the future of content marketing. I gotta be honest with you, I really do like that title. I'm gonna ask for three more. Sure, here are three more blog post title ideas. How AI is changing the way we create content, a comprehensive guide. The role of AI in content creation, enhancing efficiency and boosting engagement. Let's keep going with this trend. And now instead of a blog post title, I'll ask ChatGPT now to create an H1 for a website page. Not bad. AI for content creation, the future of marketing content. Let's say, give me five more. Sure, here are five more H1 examples related to AI for content creation. Oh nice, creating smarter content with AI, the next evolution in marketing. Maximizing content creation efficiency with AI technology, the power of AI in content creation. So now I'll be looking at the choices ChatGPT gave me, but I wanna make sure that I have my keyword together and cohesive within one of those titles. So for example, I really like the very first option it gave me, how AI is changing the way we create content, a comprehensive guide. I really like that, but it doesn't have my keyword together. I want AI for content creation to be just like that, together. The future of marketing content, that might be perfect. So now I'm gonna use that. I'm now gonna ask ChatGPT to write a YouTube heading with this title. Unlocking the power of AI for content creation. The ultimate guide for creating smarter, more engaging marketing content. I like that. So now I'll take it a step further and I'll ask it, write a YouTube description regarding AI for content creation, the future of marketing content. And so immediately it's spewing it out to me. In this video, we explore the exciting potential of using AI for content creation and how it is shaping the future of marketing content. With AI, content creation becomes more efficient, cost-effective, and delivers more personalized experiences to consumers. 
Join us as we dive deep into the various ways AI can transform the content creation process from automating tasks to generating unique content and improving engagement rates. Whether you're a marketer, content creator, or just curious about the future of AI, this video is a must watch. I like it, I'm impressed and I'm happy with it. It's blunt, it's to the point, and it's exactly relating to the keywords we need. And in fact, we can even double dip and utilize that same description and content to put into a corresponding blog post or even input it onto a web page we have on our website. So now we're really getting somewhere. Let's take it a step further and start creating the fun things, the AI art. Before we jump in to actually creating the AI art, let's ask for a few ideas, okay? Now I'm asking it to give me 10 thumbnail ideas related to our chosen keyword. An image of a futuristic robot writing on a computer with the words AI for content creation overlaid in bold letters. A split screen showing a person writing content and an AI program writing content with the words human versus AI. Who writes better content overlaid in bold letters? Wow, I like that. I like all 10. Just to make this simple, I'm going to go ahead and highlight number one and two. Okay, so what we'll do next is just simply take some of these descriptions and ideas that ChatGPT provided us, and we're going to go to MidJourney, and we're going to just copy and paste those into MidJourney and see what it can come up with as far as creating some awesome YouTube thumbnails. Now we're in MidJourney, and if you're not familiar with MidJourney, I have a video that you can click on and watch a quick demonstration on how to get started using this fascinating tool. And I'm just going to paste an image of a futuristic robot writing on a computer with the words AI for content creation overlaid in bold letters. I'll go ahead and type in my second idea. Imagine, and now I will paste in this one. A split screen showing a person writing content and an AI program writing content with the words human versus AI. So in mid journey, you basically utilize it through a discord and within discord, you can just type in any prompt and description you want. And just like that, mid journey will create that piece of art for you. And it's just not any piece of art. The art is amazing. It's impressive. And sometimes I look at these images and I can't distinguish between what's real and what's not. Sometimes the photos of humans look so real, it looks like a real photo was taken on a camera. So I'm over here in mid journey. And of course, I'll have to scroll through so much to finally find my art. And since people are using this nonstop, it might be a little bit tedious to continue doing that. So in the top right hand corner, I can click on inbox, hit mentions, and I could see within this channel, the ones I'm tagged under that I asked it to do. Not exactly what I was looking for, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go a step further. Okay, so I went ahead and asked Midjourney for a few more prompts. Let's see if we had better results up in my mentions. And I like what I see so far, okay. Futuristic happy robot talking with a happy woman under the stars. That's pretty cool, that's pretty good, okay. AI technology in the future. Wow, that's pretty cool too. Okay, here we go. So that one was futuristic AI robot with an iMac sitting outside with the moon and stars above in the sky. Nice. Okay. A futuristic AI chatbot sitting next to a human typing on a computer. Now that's really cool too. I like this. I like this little group right here. So what you can do if you find one that you like and you can open it, right click on it and do save image to downloads. And then immediately it's going to save to your download file. You can spend all day on this tool. So that's just a simple way how you can combine chat GPT with other AI tools like Midjourney. Now, as we discussed earlier, ChatGPT and all of these AI tools are extremely fun, exciting, and useful to use. But as you can see going through this video, there are a few times we still need to have that human element. So I suggest we use these AI tools, take advantage of the great technology we have at our fingertips these days, but you still need to kind of babysit it and add the human element and touch to it. Because you wanna make sure that you're comparing the keywords that ChatGPT is giving you, and then you're entering that data into a SEO tool like a SEMrush. And the same thing with Midjourney. You might have to give it a few chances and, and tries to get that perfect piece of artwork that you're looking for. In fact, I would even suggest when you're going through Midjourney in the Discord server, looking at other people's descriptions. If you find an image similar that you kind of like and you want to implement that into yours, use what they've suggested. Use the prompt that they asked Midjourney to, to do, and you can kind of just create and add your own little touch to it. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when I do a lot more of these coming down the road. Thank you so much for stopping by and until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>